In this video, I will show you how to download and install FortiClient VPN on Mac OS. This is applicable to any MacBooks. Let's begin. Open your web browser. Search for FortiClient VPN download. Choose the first option which is from their official website Fortinet.com. We will be redirected to the FortiClient download page. During the time of this recording, the latest version is 7.4. Scroll down to the bottom. Look for FortiClient VPN only. We have here the version for Windows. If you are running on Windows operating system then you can check my other video. We also have here the version for Mac OS, version for Linux, etc. Since we are going to install on Mac OS then we will choose this option. Simply tick on it. In order for us to download the file, we need to provide some details. You can provide your own details but it's not necessary. We can use any details as long as we fill up all the required details. We can put in valid email also since it does not send us code or anything. We just want to download the DMG file. Once everything is set, tick download now. We will be redirected to the download page again. We will choose download VPN for Mac OS again. Wait for it to finish the process. Let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Another window will pop up. Double click on the Forta Client Installer app. We will receive this pop up because we downloaded it from the internet. Another way is go to App Store then search for Forta Client. I tried both and it's different. The one on App Store is like a light version. Tick open to proceed. It will automatically download the required files. Wait for it to finish the process. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the download process has been completed then you need to click install to proceed. For the installation process, we can leave it all to default. Tick continue to proceed. Continue then agree to the license agreement. This application will be available for all users. We can change the install location if we want. Install to proceed. Enter your password then hit enter or tick install software. Wait for it to finish the installation process. The next process is very important. Do not skip the process or else the application will not work. This application requires to use a new network extension. If the window did not pop up then finish the installation. Restart your computer and then launch the application and this pop-up will appear. Tick OK to proceed or tick Open System Settings to view the option. We need to allow 40 Trade to add VPN configuration. Tick Allow. Now, we need to enable the 40 Tray app. Enter your computer password to verify then tick OK. Now it's enabled. Tick Done to close the window. Under Login Items and Extensions, we can see here some Fortinet features added. Close the window. The installation was successful. Let's now launch the application. We can open it through Launchpad, Finder or through the taskbar. You can see the FortiClient VPN icon. Right click on it then choose Open FortiClient Console. Tick the box to acknowledge that you will not contact Fortinet support if you encounter some issue because this is a free software. Tick I accept to proceed. Tick Configure VPN to proceed. Now we can add the VPN configuration. These are the details configured on the FortiGate firewall. We have different connection types. SSL VPN, IPsec VPN and XML. You can check my other video for the IPsec VPN settings. For this demo we will connect through SSL VPN. For the connection type. We can use any name we prefer. Description is optional. For the remote gateway, we can enter either the public IP address or dynamic DNS of the remote site. You can check my other video for the dynamic DNS configuration if you want. Next is the port. If you customize the port then tick the box and then enter the port number. For the authentication, you can tick save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to connect to the remote site. Enter your SSL VPN account username and then tick save to apply the changes. Next is enter your SSL VPN account password. 
you can tick on the eye icon to verify your password. Click connect to proceed. If the certificate window pop-ups, simply click continue. Now we are connected to the remote site. We can see here the connection details. The VPN name. The SSL VPN user's IP address. The SSL VPN username. Duration is how long we are connected to the remote site. Bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, simply click disconnect. To check the application version. At the top right, click the information icon. We are running on version 7.4.3. Since we added the VPN configuration, we can simply right click on the Forta client icon at the taskbar then we have the option to connect directly to the remote site. No need to open the application every time. Simply tick on it. Enter your SSL VPN account password. We have the option to save the password for us not to enter the password every time we want to connect. Once done, click connect. Now we are connected. If we right click on the Forta client VPN icon, we also have the option to disconnect to the remote site. Open Forta client console and shut down Forta client. Let's open the Forta client console to view the connection details. We can either disconnect here or right click on the Forta client icon then tick disconnect. We can check other basic application features. If we tick on the three line icon, we can add new connection. This is if you have other remote sites, you can add multiple remote sites depending on the FortiGate model. We also have the option to edit the current connection. Change name, change IP address, change DDNS or change port number. We also have the option to delete connection. Confirm to delete. Since we have one connection then we will go back to the default settings. Next is I'll show you how to uninstall the Forta client VPN application. First is we will shut down the application. At the taskbar, right click on the Forta client VPN and then choose shut down Forta client. Now, go to finder. Go to application window. We can see here the Forta client uninstaller app. We will use this one to uninstall the Forta client VPN application. Normally, we can uninstall app through the launchpad, but not applicable for Forta client. We cannot use the launchpad to drag the application to the trash because you can see it's locked or protected. We have some other methods to uninstall the application but the easiest way is to use this Forta Client Uninstaller app. If you are running the older versions of Forta Client then this option may not be available. What you can do is install the latest version like what we just did. It will automatically update and install the application including this Forta Client Uninstaller app. Now, double click on it. It will tell us that this program will remove Forta Client from your computer. Tick Uninstall to proceed. You need to verify by entering your computer password. This will pop up for a few times so you need to enter it again and again until it completely uninstall the application. Forta Client has been removed from your computer. Done to close the window. Notice that the Forta Client app disappeared. It means that we have successfully uninstalled the application. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.